that was what the ultrasound looked like. So there was concern about um, uh, testicular masses, lymphoma. He is kind of young for lymphoma, so it was, but it was weird that it was bilateral. Um, and then on this CT, you can see the masses here and they're fairly avidly enhancing. And actually you can see that they had some calcifications that was what was shadowing. Um, so I showed this case to Cookie actually when I was at, at Rankin Ray and immediately she said, show me the adrenal glands because Cookie's very smart. And the adrenal glands you can see are kind of large and hyperplastic here. Um, and so this kid wasn't really symptomatic, um, but actually turns out when they probed him a little bit further, he'd had like a major growth spurt when he was little. And so they tested his, so we brought up the possibility of congenital adrenal rests and um, the, they tested his hormones and his 17 hydroxylase, no, it was 21 hydroxylase? 17 hydroxylase was um, 8,000. So if it's over 1,000, that's basically diagnostic. Um, so they can get like hirsutism and then hypertrophy of like their um, sex organs, um, depending on if it's a male or a female. Um, so that's what this guy had. And if they're symptomatic enough, they actually will remove the testes and do sper they can do sperm banking where they suck out the sperm out of these testes and um, still preserve them for, you know, um, then do in utero insemination to their partner. So anyway, congenital rests. Also get um, adrenal rests all the way up and down the retroperitoneum. They look like um, they can look like little paraganglioma's or nerve sheath tumors. Uh, they don't. I think we think about them in the testicles, but I think they can also happen up and down the retroperitoneum as well. Hmm. That makes sense because they have to like they migrate from the par like away from each other, right? I think so. <laughs> And the kidneys too, right? They're migrating along that same pattern, that path. That's right, yeah. 